students welcome to subject science uh, lesson food and health yes this is a very interesting topic as food is very important for our life yes and even health is very important because food gives us energy everybody have learned this in third standard food gives us energy without food everybody will die let it be human beings or animals even plants need food to grow okay so this is a very important lesson in this you are going to learn why food is important and what are the nutrients which are required for our healthy living okay so here on page number 1 we are having that let us make a salad now do you know what is a salad salad means all the vegetables nuts everything whatever is required in raw form is mixed and then eaten like for example lentil black gram sprouts cucumber okay then potato carrot paneer whatever you want you mix it yes and then you add lemon juice to it and salt to taste and mix it well in a bowl and you eat now why are we mixing all these things and eating what does this give us okay we are going to learn it next page yes now as you know when you have prepared the salad now what are the things which are present in that and why do we need it now the things which are required for the healthy living is known as nutrients okay nutrients or nourishment means food that you need to grow and stay healthy okay now food is one of our basic needs it helps our body to grow stay healthy and repair itself okay it also provides us energy to work and play we are having basically five nutrients okay nutrients are the things which are required for our body to grow all the five nutrients should be present in our food so that we grow properly and our body to be healthy the first nutrient we are talking about now is carbohydrate which is the first nutrient carbohydrate how many nutrients are present in the food it is five there are five nutrients first one is carbohydrate now carbohydrate gives energy to our body now the food should contain carbohydrate now why because carbohydrate is a energy giving food it gives instant energy okay and food items which are rich in carbohydrate are whole grain cereals cereals means such as rice wheat and corn and some vegetables like potato and beetroot they are also very rich in carbohydrate and fruits such as banana grapes and mango they also contain carbohydrates okay they give us energy instantly instantly means very quickly then milk and milk products milk and milk product means milk you know you drink milk yes in a liquid form milk product means like curd okay curd or yogurt then we have paneer cheese all those are milk products the things which are made from the milk they are called milk product they all contain what carbohydrates okay like for example when you are playing in the ground suddenly one of your friend falls okay he faints he becomes unconscious or he is very tired so what does the pt teacher do immediately she will give him some water and give him some glucose yes now why is she giving glucose because glucose contain carbohydrate okay glucose contain carbohydrate because it is the powdered sugar okay so that glucose will give instant energy to the boy or the girl understood so carbohydrates are energy giving food understood okay next we will go to fats fats the things which contain fats are ghee oil nuts coconut cheese and cream okay there are many other things also like butter also contains fats now why do we need fats 
because same like carbohydrate even fats are energy giving food okay remember that very well carbohydrate and fats both are energy giving food but carbohydrate gives instant energy they give energy immediately okay but fats the things which contain fat they do not give instant energy but they stay in our body in a stored form okay like how extra food we will keep in the refrigerator in the same way body will store the energy in the form of fat okay in the form of fat so when our, our body needs energy this fat will give the energy to the body so fats are called as stored energy and where does the energy get stored it gets stored under the skin just below the skin there is fat where the fat gets stored understood and even around our organs also okay the fats get stored but more fat is very harmful to the to our body okay so more fatty things we should not eat but fats are important for growing children did you get me so remember carbohydrate and fats are what kind of food energy giving food next we will go to the other nutrient that is protein now see proteins are very very important for children and you all because you are growing children proteins help us to build our muscles and to grow because if you don't eat protein products well your body will not grow well so you have to eat protein rich food okay so we will now learn what are the protein rich foods they are milk and milk products like as you said like as i said it before curd and cheese then we have eggs nuts meat fish beans pulses and soya bean these are the body building foods okay so the other name for protein is body building food so as we are all muslims we eat much of mutton chicken eggs and all this is really good because we are rich in proteins but we should not eat in excess because other things are also important other food is also important okay so proteins are body building food so we need it and one more uh, thing for protein is importance of protein is they ha- help us to repair any body part that is damaged or hurt now for example you fall somewhere you fall from the stairs or you fall in the ground you got hurt on your knee or elbow now after one week you see the hurt is all repaired by itself yes and again the skin has become as it was before now why has it recovered by itself because whenever you get hurt the body is damaged these proteins which are there in the food they go into the body and then they repair the body okay they repair that particular hurt and you are again fit and fine so proteins are body building foods so next two important nutrients are vitamins and minerals now vitamins and minerals other name is protective food okay so what are protective foods they are nothing but vitamins and minerals okay so the food which is rich in vitamins and minerals are fruits milk and green vegetables okay they contain vitamins and minerals so they are called protective foods now why they are called protective foods the reason is they protect our body from diseases help us to stay healthy and maintain healthy teeth bones and skin okay and all citrus fruits such as vitamin sorry all citrus fruits contain vitamin c now what are the vitamin c rich fruits they are lemon okay then we are having oranges okay they are rich in vitamins and they help in to fight against infection and diseases